welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Austrick Vox, and we got an update on the Steven Universe movie. While we're still a ways away from the film actually coming to our television screens, and hopefully some limited theater screenings, please tweet to Card Network that you want this. We recently got some news that may give some insight on the film. An art book for the movie, properly titled The Art of Steven Universe the Movie, has been announced to release in the fall, assumably around the time the movie comes out, probably after to avoid spoilers. Now, art books are nothing new for Steven Universe. The series had its first art book release in 2017, which sold really well. And I'm hoping we get a volume two to that for the other half of the show. The art book didn't have any concept art for the diamonds, which I found very disappointing. But now that we have all four of them revealed and their arcs completed, let's dig into those concepts. But staying on topic for the movie, the description for the art book could be very telling. Go behind the scenes of Cartoon Network's highly anticipated movie with this unique art book. This magical deep dive into the Steve Universe movie is designed by Ryan Sands, Frontier, in conjunction with Steve Universe creator Rebecca Sugar. See preliminary character designs, witness the formation of settings and storyboards, and discover the art that shaped the full-length movie. It's a new kind of artistic adventure with Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, and of course, Steven. In the meantime, eager fans can purchase the Steve Universe coloring book to occupy their time and prepare for the upcoming movie release. Now, what I find interesting is the sentence, it's a new kind of artistic adventure. That's very particular wording, and it makes me think that this movie will have its own art style separate from the show. A style that suits a movie. I mean, this wouldn't be anything unprecedented. Almost every medium of Steve Universe has its own art style. The comics, the graphic novels, they all share their own unique aesthetic and art style that's separate from the show itself. So why should the movie be any different? And besides, we never got to see any of these different art styles animated in 2D. The closest would probably be the light series, but come on, those are video games. Now, I think the biggest question here would be, what kind of art style would fit this movie? If we're not going the traditional style of the show, I can really see it going in two ways. One, the film looks a little bit more anime, drawing inspiration from the crew universe's various influences. I'm not saying it would straight up adapt those art styles, as that could look a little bit freaky, but I could see it leaning towards more of those various animes and mangas than any other spinoff the show has seen thus far. But let's say we're not going full anime. What could be another art style? Well, I can see them going a more Disney route. Not just any Disney route, but the Renaissance era. Let's face it, when it comes to 2D traditionally hand-drawn films, Disney has been giving that section of the medium a huge shaft, despite how formative it was for a lot of animation to come. I can totally see Steve Universe paying homage to this era, getting even more notoriety, and even catching the eye of other animation studios, including Disney themselves, if they took this approach. Because I'm sure this movie is going to be successful, I'm sure it's going to be well received by both fans and critics, and it will probably be regarded as one of the best things Steve Universe has ever done ever. So I would love if Steve Universe potentially caused a resurgence in 2D hand-drawn animated films, beyond television and streaming. Look, I know this this is just a TV movie, but hey, the sky's the limit. Also, please put it in theaters. Once again, tweet to Cartoon Network. And I know it sounds weird that what potentially is going to be our first new Steven Universe content in months could have a different art style than the show itself, but hey, I think that would be even more refreshing. And I mean, come on, it's getting an art book, people. I think those preliminary designs go beyond just the villain of the movie in any new location. Art books are usually massive, so not only could I see the gems having exclusive designs for this film, in fact, that's probably a given, but I can definitely see a new art style and concepts of other art styles that could have gone with for Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, and Steven. And I can't wait to get my hands on this art book. But as always, this is where I turn the conversation over to you guys. What do you think? What art style would you want to see in the Steven Universe movie if there is a new one? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for my own thoughts, you can catch me at Fox. We're also on Instagram. You can help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. And guys, Seriously, let's keep fighting to get this film in theaters, even as a limited release. Tweet to Credit Network on Twitter, let them know on Instagram. You would give money to see this film in theaters. Also, while you're on Instagram, you can follow us on there. And me. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Special thanks to Nikki, the imaginative artist, for creating an amazing thumbnail. For more of her amazing work, you can find her on Twitter and Instagram. Link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Fox, signing out.